So I became a teacher because I feel that I need to educate in every way, shape, and form. Fruit types of vegetables. Vegetables are plants that bear fruit. One of the big focuses we've had is nutrition, making sure our kids are eating healthy morning, afternoon, and evening. Then there are definitely major challenges with obesity, uh, things like diabetes. Uh, there's also a scarcity of food in the area. There's not a lot of grocery stores unless you drive five, six miles down the road. So just helping our scholars understand that just because there's not accessibility to things doesn't mean you can't do it yourself. And that's kind of what we're working on with the Tower Gardens and some other things we're gonna do in the future. My name is Stephen Ritz and I am CEO, Chief Eternal Optimist of Bronx County and the founder of Green Bronx Machine. To bring a program such as ours to the community of Holy Angels, where over 90% of the students are on free and reduced lunch program, means that this young tender age, we can change the trajectory of their tastes and behaviors for the rest of their lives. The opportunity that Anthem has given us with the Tower Garden in conjunction with the Green Bronx Machine has absolutely changed the path of nutrition for, for this school and specifically for this class. There's no way that this school would have ever been able to afford such an expensive but wonderful curriculum and, and Tower Garden. Our teachers have just loved it. The kids have had the opportunity to see those tower gardens go from nothing to now there's plants on them. Pretty soon there will be fruits and vegetables growing on them. I like cucumbers sometimes. I, I eat them on my salad and sometimes we have it at lunch. So there's a lot of plants in our room that's in, and that's why I love because when my plant grow, I just can't wait to eat it. Eating healthy helps me do better in school. I'm thankful for having a tower in my classroom. The partnership between Green Bronx Machine and Anthem is game changing. It is a proactive step proving that self-care and preventative care is the most aggressive way to ensure that children lead happy, healthy, productive lives and helps build strong, resilient communities. A lot of these scholars come from backgrounds where they don't own things on their own. Uh, they don't have their own toys, they share with everyone else. They don't have their own clothes, even sometimes they share with other people. Uh, so even just having something that's their own that no one else can claim and no one else can take responsibility for, they're really super excited that they have that ability. So we are very, very grateful to have the opportunity to change lives.